All right, greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Eli L. Uh, I had a brother that posed a question to me, and um, basically it was like, well, Brother Eli, he, you know, I'm all for the fighting and all that shit, fighting back or whatever, you know, fighting for justice. But, you know, so many of our black brothers and sisters are lost, you know, and them motherfuckers will rob me. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, you know, how are we going to be unified and shit in order to even bring the fight to these motherfuckers? You know, he said, especially when these motherfuckers are no longer killing us for a cause, but just because. And I like the way he ended that, you know, let me tell you like this, brother. You have to be. You have to be you have to study war. You have to study battles throughout history, okay? Um, you don't make this fight about black people versus police. We ain't going to do that, okay? We need allies. You have to study Sun Tzu's art of war. We need allies, something that we lack, okay? So in order to bring in allies, then we need to make the war and the fight about the have-nots versus the have. Okay, this we're going to make this a poor people's war. All right. When you do that, then you bring in the Latinos, you bring in the Puerto Ricans, you bring in poor whites. You want to make this shit about the have nots versus the fucking system and the police are included in that system. That's how you make this war. You understand that shit? Now, even though it's 40 million of us, man, and we're strategically scattered out throughout 30 major cities, there are at least 600,000 of us in each major city. So that's a good thing. We're not as weak as you think. And they're not strong as you think. These motherfuckers are spread so thin, brother. Them motherfuckers are now in space trying to do planet grabs like they did land grabs here on Earth. And guess what? It's motherfuckers who are opposing them and fighting their ass right now up there in space. Then they trying to do land grabs over in the Middle East. Fucking around with Iran. But Russia got Iran's back. And America got Israel's back. So they got a whole bunch of soldiers over in that region. Spread out. This is why they arming the police like a goddamn military entity. Because their soldiers are being spread out so fucking thin, it is going to be their fucking greed that's going to bring them the fuck down. It's going to be their fucking lust for this New World Order imperialist bullshit. That's going to be their downfall. They are spread so fucking thin, brother, trust me. So then after you make this shit a poor people's fight versus the motherfucking the, 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 the system... You're drawing allies, white, Puerto Rican, Hispanic. You understand that shit? Now you, now your numbers have fucking tripled. You dig? Look, man, Elahu is not no fool, yo. But I can't sit here and tell you a lot of shit. All right? But I'm going to tell you some basic shit. Okay? Study the last motherfucking 30 years of wars he didn't have. 50 years. There's only three he can even declare successful out of probably like in the last 50 years, this motherfucker has had probably fucking 50 wars. Some small, some big. Some you don't need was so small, they didn't even make the fucking news. They were just like some covert mercenary strikes and shit. But when you look at the shit, look at Cuba. They went in there to try to pull that shit on Castro. They never made it off the fucking beach. That was 50 years ago. They never went back fucking with him since. Not with no motherfucking army. They tried to assassinate him. They tried to hire some mercenaries to snipe him and poison him and shit like that. But they never took a fucking army back over there. You know why? Because the motherfucking peasants over there fought. Look at Vietnam. 15-year war. Fucking rice farmers. You know? Look at the Native Americans. The motherfuckers use guerrilla war tactics. You have to use guerrilla war tactics. Do not bring the fight to the cracker. Make him come to your territory where you know. Make him come and make this an urban 
guerrilla war. Use your terrain that you're familiar with. See, these motherfuckers used to fight in what's called rank and files and shit. Rows and lines. Then had ca fucking cannons mowing them the fuck down. Real stupid ass motherfuckers. Till they start fucking with that Indian. And that Indian was popping their ass from trees. Coming up from out of the motherfucking brush. Dressed like a goddamn bush. Picking their asses off. That's guerrilla warfare. You understand? So by the time they fought the motherfucking British with that rank and file shit, and then they had to fucking with the Indian in a few more battles, and then they got to the Civil War with more of that dumbass rank and file shit, they got wise. Then they start developing motherfucking guerrilla warfare tactics, camouflage and shit like that by World War One. Okay? The Mexican-Spanish-American War, the War of 1812, fucking around with Mexico. Mexico got down for their motherfucking crown. The Indian got down for their motherfucking crown, yo. Cuba got down for their motherfucking crown. So you have to fight, man. You cannot be scared. These motherfuckers are spreading so thin, trying to do planetary land. Now they're trying to do planet grabs like they do land grabs here. So they got... Soldiers and, and, and all they motherfucking, a big part of their motherfucking uh, 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 military and industrial strength going to fucking Star Wars and shit. Then they trying to do this fucking Iran thing. So they got all the soldiers over there. So now they trying to arm the motherfucking uh, police and all the motherfucking major cities throughout America. Arm them like they some kind of military regime. So then you must appeal to the black brothers and sisters who are part of the uh, 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 police departments, National Guard. Tell them if they come out from amongst them that we will welcome them gladly and they will not be harmed. Appeal to their motherfucking sense of righteousness and sense of motherfucking uh, 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 kinship. Let them know that they turning their motherfucking weapons on their own kin and kith. Motherfuckers that look just like them, they mama, they daddy, they brother, they sister, they sons and daughters. And I guarantee you'll see at least a quarter, if not a third of them, go AWOL. You'll see. Appeal to the motherfuckers that, that's working in the prisons and shit. To give up them motherfucking keys. Open them goddamn cells and free our motherfucking strongest of the strong. And if they won't do it, then that should be one of the targets that we hit to free them. You must make your strike simultaneously, brother. That's how you do guerrilla warfare. Never hit one target at one time. You want to hit four targets at the same fucking strike of the fucking minute. And, now, and when you do that, you spread their motherfucking forces. Thin some more. And when you hit those four targets at the same simultaneous minute, you have another motherfucking four targets to hit maybe like fucking 10, 15 minutes after the first strike of four. That's how you do this shit. You have them running around like chickens with their head cut off. But you need a good, strong general. And the strongest generals that I know are your motherfucking ex-veterans. Your old heads. Find the motherfuckers who was in Nam. And they will school you on how to win this war. Find them. If you're young, find them. Speak to them. Question them. Find one that like to talk about the war. Find some World War II vets that like to talk about the war. It's a lot of them motherfuckers. And you sit there and you shut the fuck up and you listen and you let them talk. And when he slow down talking, you wake his ass up again with a question. Okay? Listen, man. They ain't as big as bad as you think. This is they just using Sun Tzu's art of deception to make, if your numbers are uh, 100,000, make them motherfuckers believe it's a million. It's all they're using, man. Look, our government has studied the art of war since world, since, since, since 
fucking the beginning of armies. Okay? All your armories. Any kind of like naval bases. These are strategic targets that are necessary to obtain. Acquiring some of these motherfucking Navy ships. You're going to have to do these type of things. Strategic strikes simultaneously. Never one strike. Never one strike. Always strike in threes. Always strike in threes. Three targets a clip. Three targets a clip. Three targets a clip. Our ancestors said that we will win. This is an age-old divine battle. Between the forces of dark versus the forces of light. This battle was written in the book of God's remembrance since the creation of man. Where the forces of dark refused. Refused to worship you. And ever since that day he said that he was better than us. Which was the day you was created, black man. His declaration, his declaration of war has been upon us. This ain't start with no goddamn Trayvon Martin. This shit started billions of years ago. In the motherfucking heavens. It started. In the dawn of the universe, it started. This is an age-old battle. And all you niggas sit up there and call yourselves gods. You niggas saying you gods. Well, let me tell you something. God, the Ancient of Days, who sits upon the throne, he has an army. He has an army, myriads and myriads of archangels, cherubim and seraphim, flame-wielding uh, seraphim to defend the throne. He has defended his throne to all comers. That is why he is the most high. That is why he is a higher, I shall higher. That is why he is the Ancient of Days. He ain't no punk. So you call yourself a god, nigga? Then you fight. How the fuck you gonna call yourself a god and you a punk? This is Brother Live Ill.